Hi guys. So I'm like in kind of like a really crazy mind fuck right now. My biggest priority, which I'm not really focusing on, is that I need to move and I need to find a place to live. And I haven't been finding anything because everything is outrageously expensive. And um, right now I don't have a job. So how the, how the fuck am I supposed to, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I've just been, I almost kind of want to just sit back and be like, all right, like let, let go and, and, and let whatever the universe take over. But at that point, it's like, I feel like I'm, that would be ignorant because I'm, I'm not, I can control myself. I can't control anything else. I can control myself. So what am I saying? Like, am I like giving up? In, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I'm having all these like crazy thoughts and I'm, I'm looking at a lizard right now and it's dark outside and my cat can't see him. But if he sees him, he is going to jump up on this thing and smack him. Oh my gosh. But, um, oh, do you remember? I don't know if any of y'all remember over the summer. Um, I was talking about these meteor showers that were, um, every single day by Saturn and um I just I never saw one I was like dying 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 to see one and um the other day I, I've seen like me like a meteor before or an asteroid like coming in to the earth and burning up in the atmosphere but but and it's like really cool it looks like it, it's like a big ass glowing like too big to be a planet you're like holy shit I would have noticed this if this was in the sky and then it's like when you re when it starts burning up and getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and like you realize what it is you're like holy shit i just had a fucking rock flying at like the speed of light at my at my head literally at my fucking head that just burnt up <laughs> so i just i think that's um really cool so but anyway the other day i was outside and i saw one of these it looked like a <laughs> it almost looked like a night light, light, like just like a little yellow light, just really um, too big to be a planet. I, I know the planets too well. I'm like, this, this, I mean, I know what Mars looks like. If Mars ain't that close, it's not fucking, you know. And then so I pulled out my um, my map for the sky, and lo and behold, it was that it was from that meteor shower that was like occurring that I hadn't been able to see, and. Um, so we watch i watched it like um keep getting closer because i'm like all right are you gonna like go are you gonna go out soon or are you about to like smash into us but um yeah and so anyway today that was a day or so ago today i went outside you know maybe an hour ago and i saw another one and this one was like whitish it wasn't as yellow it was a whitish uh, color coming in so I just wonder um, about if, if maybe that has something to do with the size or the distance of the object because when you look at stars that are um, oh, fuck I might have this mixed up but when you look at stars that are blue it means they're closer to like they have a bluish more hint to them they're closer to us when you look at when you see stars that have like a reddish tint it's, they're normally more f further away from the earth. And, you know, it's funny is that, um, I guess, I don't know, in space world, we use the term um, inflation to say that the universe is expanding. And like, so when I first heard that, and they were just like, you know, there's something in the, in the universe that's called inflation. I'm like, inflation's in the fucking universe too. Like, what the hell? What? What? what, what? Like, uh, and then I and then it's, it's just a different term of saying that the universe is expanding, and um, which which led to some theory. Well, not theories, but just like you know, people I guess using deductive reasoning that one day we're going to be, it's the universe is going to expand so. Um, vastly that our night sky is is going to be it's not going to be as plentiful as it is 
normally. Like, we're not going to be able to see as many stars or whatnot. But then again, I kind of think, well, mm, I don't know if that's necessarily true because they, we're, we're merging with a galaxy right now called Andromeda. And if we're merging with them, they're, they're I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This is what the research shows. I'm not... I'm not saying this is fact, but apparently they're going to, like, eat us up. They're, they're Apparently they're, like, a lot bigger than us. They have a lot more. I think they have a really huge black hole that's a lot bigger than ours. And they have a bunch of um, these, like, brown plant, uh, brown stars, I think, which are, like, super, super dense stars. And they're, you can't really see them with a, with an, obviously, you can't see them with the naked eye. I think you need some sort of, um heat to uh heat what is it called telescope to to see it but um yeah so i just went off on a little tangent about just like stars in space um which really was not the purpose of this um episode but i kind of like that i like when you know i'll sit down and i'll be like faith you need to talk about a b c d and then it ends up being totally something else because I feel like, in a sense, that's what needed to be said. So, yeah, I just, uh, did you guys know, this is, again, just, I have to, uh, I didn't fact check this shit. I mean, like, if you want to take my, a word for stuff, go fact check it yourself. But, um, apparently, the United States military has to they have to have they have to shut down what they're doing um like because of ufo activity like interference every um, about every six weeks they have to yeah they get every six weeks they have to shut their shit down because of because there's some sort of uh interference with some sort of ufo or some or something so what does that make i mean how would we not have some sort of, um, I don't even want to say, like, relationship, but at, at, at that rate, I mean, and, and don't be scared, because this is what I think, I think, like, if they really, if, if anything wanted to, like, really take out humans, like, they would have done it by now, but, um, I feel like this is the last thing I'm going to end on, I feel like, um, and I did this myself, and this is a self-realization thing I'm coming to. I ever I feel like everyone has almost might have like a sense of wanting to understand like who they are as a human, like why we're here, what our purpose is, where or like what are we supposed to be doing? Like what is life every day, right? And um, I feel like we always kind of like not all like I'm not gonna speak for everyone, but me, I was looking at external factors so I was researching a lot and I was like looking at what this philosopher said or what this person said or these theories about this or these theories about that or um stuff about like you know how to get in touch with your inner self or you like you know your third eye and this and so beyond the point not that that's bad bad advice but I think that once I heard like you know get like get in touch with your inner self I think I should have just like dropped it like the external shit and just um focus more internally because i really have i i I think that for some reason like i could be wrong i'm just gonna theorize or i'm just gonna give you all a theory i think that a lot of the questions and stuff that we want to know uh is like we already have it we just don't know how to access it you know think about it like this like your intuition, like, uh, if y- you walk into a room, you just have a gut feeling that this isn't a good deal or whatever, you just, you know, you kind of go with that. I feel like that is a, is kind of in relation to, you know, your, you, you already, it's in with, it's within yourself, you already know. And with that said, I'm going to let you guys ponder on that and um, let me know what you think. And Um, You don't have to necessarily leave a comment. You know, I would love that. But you can reach out to me and let me know your thoughts. So, have a great rest of your evening, y'all.